Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to my Let's Play of Imperator Rome in the quest for Persia. In the last episode, we did a good job of eating up a large amount of the Seleucid Empire's territory. And uh, now we just need to wait, basically, for the peace treaty to end so that we can hit them again and, and rinse and repeat over and over again. Uh, honestly, we're kind of nearing the point in uh, these campaigns when I play on my own where I normally start to lose interest and, and perhaps I don't finish up because we're at the point where we basically know we've won but we we haven't won yet. Uh, there's pretty much no way we can be stopped at this point unless I really mess up. Uh, conceivably Egypt might be might be a threat to us but even then I have 2,000 more people than them way more money than them it there's really no one who's a threat but this is called the quest for persia i don't feel like i can end before we you know create persia and we're on on route to do that so let's unpause and uh just keep pushing our way towards that goal uh it looks like we do have a scorned family but i don't think it matters that much at this point we have managed to improve our research ratio somewhat. It's not fantastic, but it is it is better. I think if I uh, ever did this again or played this game later, I would put a lot more effort into encouraging citizens to grow. Uh, while we kind of wait for things to just tick by... Actually, hang on. Who's low on food? This province is low on food. Let's just import some grain. This is also when I start just clicking through things with a lot less attention because we very much just need time to pass. No, let's see if we can find perfect. A little bit on the older side that I would like, but you'll do the job. But let's take a look at the rest of the world while we wait for time to tick by a little bit. I'm still fascinated by the fact that Rome doesn't even own Rome. And Carthage doesn't own this anymore? Interesting. The rest of the world has done some strange things. Like, like what's going on here? Oh, sorry, that autosave made movement weird. Like, that is a very strange empire size as well. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if I saw them, like, unite into uh, Avalon or any of those formable countries. Now that I think about it, I don't actually know if the AI ever does form other nations or if they even try to. Disloyal character, general. Why is he due to elapsed? I don't know what that means. Power break and great power. What army does he run? Uh... Oh, probably this automated one. You have 15,000 troops. You have 15,000 troops and you think... Okay, well, you think you're a great power. That's incredibly naive. I will say, civil wars in this game can be really rough. So that would definitely be one way where we could <laughs> lose this game. Is via civil war. How? I guess in my last war I forgot to take that. And we're just ticking by aggressive expansion. I wonder, let's take a look here. That's the top is the impact changes. Uh, equal integration also decaying by 12% due to base minus plus 20. Hmm. I'm not seeing easy ways to improve that. Because really, it would be nice if this dropped down. Like, it's not again. I'm not too worried. Most of this is a minion at this point. And what isn't? What's my religion doing? Yeah, and the religion's doing pretty good too. We're just really quite stable at this point. We'll keep converting. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just buy the food. <laughs> I got 6,000 and I'm not using it. We'll walk our way down the military traditions. It's interesting that we've done so much and we haven't 
well, we haven't got further down the tree, but I guess I have spent a lot of money on mercenaries, and mercenaries cost 10 military experience. So it's an interesting argument for not wanting to do that. But again, we're just at such an overwhelming level that doesn't matter that much. Even our lack of tech, which is really quite embarrassing, it's not the end of the world anymore. Huh, this family is scorned again. You guys are just doomed to that. Are you a great family? Yes. Oh, the scorned family. That's probably why you're grumpy. Or a reason why you're grumpy. But oh no, one army doesn't do what I say. Sure, we'll take a granary. And how long do we need until we can go back to war? Truce. 82. Okay, two more years. That's not so bad. <laughs> Aggressive expansion might get bad if we keep pushing, but I'm curious. Like, if we zoom in, a lot of this is uninhabited, impassable terrain, so I'm kind of curious. Uh, do we have a good... Ooh, this will do. So, as much as they look giant still, they're kind of not, because it's it's just these pathways, so we might be able to take this pretty quickly. Uh, what do we need? Decision. Doesn't really matter. Um, before I forget, thing I always forget, yeah, arrange marriage. You'll do. Don't want to pay too much attention to who we marry. It's only the future of our empire. Uh, okay, unpause because we need time to go by. Uh, decisions on Persia. Go away on Persia. Oh, that one in the top right. So I really do just need all of the land. Interesting. LA governor. Let's see if we can find someone. Oh, perfect. You're good at your job, you're young, and you're of the family I need. That's unusual good fortune. I'm still making 200 a turn. I could easily, easily make another army, but I don't... Sure, let's make another army. Why, why not? I have a million. Let's have a million more. What's a good supply map mode? We need something to do while we wait, right? 54. Okay. In Quam, let's build a single... What, what are we going to start with? You know what? This is going to be a heavy army. Uh, send them back. No. No, no. You work for me. Someone else died. Mm -hmm. That was uh, can be a little tricky when you're running through on top speed uh, just to keep track of everything. Like it, the, the menus pop through really, really quickly. You're not bad. I didn't look if you were loyal. Okay, good, you are. Must be pillaged. Okay. Lose a bunch of people, loyalty, gain a rust. Oh, he becomes no no gaining ambition we just we keep control there's no no messing around anymore this, this is going to be a giant really heavy army so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine no one die that's fine uh one two three four five six seven eight nine and then let's have a few light I'm thinking, because these guys don't have great movement maneuvering, yeah. What about the camels? They're really fast maneuvering. Better food. Let's grab one, two, three, four. Let's just grab four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be a very big, very powerful army. Rebellion will break out in 38 months. Well, that is... 
why? Uh, due to 17% of the population is from a foreign culture group and living in disloyal provinces or subjects. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Oh my talk. Yeah, it's all these... All these people. All my talk about having no issues, and then perhaps we do... Oh my lord. That is a lot of angry people. Okay, so that's improving. Do we have enough loyalty? What is it going to be? Oldest. Okay, let's just go macro settlement. What's the one for happiness? As much food as possible. Always seems good. Not really what I was supposed to be concentrating on, but hey, let me let me improve my economy more because I need more money. Okay, back to the actual problem. Uh, tribesman output and happiness, so that's a good one. Slave output and freeman happiness. I wonder if there's a good way. Did I just see? I saw a 12 in there somewhere. Wait a minute, build. You have a barracks. You're still grumpy? Wow, unacceptable. Uh, okay, well let's just build. Again, we're not going to pay that much attention because there's not. Go to spattering of that. And then barracks is. Just because we can. Build a few more tribesmen. You know, I wonder if the assimilation speed would which would almost have been better. But what can you do? You make your choices, that's what it is. Theater, assimilation and happiness. None of these can get it. Okay. None of that can get it. I'm going to assume Just no cities with them. I wonder how else. Who has no food? Some of the mini armies for some. for whatever reason. Sure. You're good at your job. It is an interesting problem. That's improving. That's dropping a little bit, but I don't have room to do anything about it. I actually don't know that I have much say. Why are you... How are you not converted yet? Interesting. I really would have expected you to have been converted by this point. Uh... Sure. Yeah, why not? No, no, not like I need the money. A little spattering of Armenia in the middle. 25 months, so we are... We are en route to this happening. And I'll be very curious. I don't know that I've ever had a rebellion. I've had civil wars. I've had slave uprisings, which we actually had in this video where we just... They spawn on top of my army and then it was really embarrassing for all of them. I don't think I've ever had a rebellion. I don't actually know what that looks like. I guess my aggressive expansion is why they're all so grumpy. Any of these have trade routes? More people keep dying. Do we have a happiness? National Freeman happiness. I'm curious if this 18% would make a difference. Like I've been pushing the conversion speed because as soon as they're converted to us, then life is just better. And that's what we're going for. But let's try it. 
what do we got to lose? Either it stops a civil war or we have the civil war we were going to have anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. We'll just grab you. Curious if this disloyal guy will like help them in some way or something like that. 16 months. The threshold is 16.47% due to base, great power, positive stability. Yeah, my stability is really good. Uh, due to 19% of the populate, just too much of them. <laughs> I was just thinking, if I go to war, <laughs> I could like take up more Armenian population and then put the balance back in my side. Because the blue is all close enough to my people. Which is kind of funny. And we just... Oh, I was going to say, why is this not ticking? Eight months. I think this is going to happen. I'm curious. I should probably do some research at some point. But I'm curious why... Or if there's something I could have done more. Because like when there's no loyalty, you can't build anything. Like maybe there's a policy. Let's take a quick take a quick pause and look. Is there one of these that provides a huge loyalty? Local autonomy. Way less output. Way more happiness. I wonder if you can run that until like, I wonder if you can run that until you've converted them. You know what? Let's be bold. Let's just let the rebellion happen in fall months. Cause it's not like I could probably back too much in that time. And let's just see what happens. Three months. This entire campaign that I was literally at the beginning of this episode talking about how I couldn't lose it unless I messed up and now we're gonna have a rebellion. We'll see if it breaks us. I have thousands of troops and 6,000 gold. I find it hard to- oh, pause, pause, pause. I find it hard to imagine that they can actually get away with it. So we are at war. <laughs> Little 3k army. That's- it's cute. That's cute. I could buy this 29k military. See how cute you find that. Uh, you're automated. You take that. Actually, you... You independent. You go there. You come here. So... Okay, that's a decent chunk of my empire that's... Oh, oh my forts are being used against me. How incredibly rude. Oh, you're just gonna walk through their empire? I'm okay. Not, oh, that's still a minion. Oh, Armenia. Cute. Cute. Um, I don't want to control all of you, so why don't you independent? You independent. Slow down slightly. Let's see what's going on. I don't think this rebellion will be so bad. And it dropped a bunch of our aggressive expansion. Like, unless I wasn't paying attention as it dropped, I feel like it went down by like 10 or 15 there. Uh, which will help out. Anyway, I think that's a good spot to stop this. And then in the next episode, we'll crush the rebellion uh, as they deserve. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.